Guys, it has finally been approved. HDOS has been recognized by Jagex now, and it is one of the clients that they are going to allow us to use. This is absolutely game changing, not, e not only just for, you know, me or our content creators in general, but for the whole community. This is how RuneScape was 2008, 2009, 2010, in some of the best years. And a lot of people remember these years as being some of the best years in RuneScape. I, I know like 2007 was like ideally the best, but my best memories were in this era of the game. And now we can actually play RuneScape with this and not worry about anything. No worrying about bans and stuff. Jagex has fully approved this client. Alright, so let's just go over the new update that they released yesterday on June 17th, 2022. So pretty much they're just, if you kind of want to look at it, you can go to the website. But they're just talking about third-party clients. And then if you scroll down, um, it'll say that with RuneLight now available in the Jagex launcher, launcher and uh, conversations with ongoing other client developers such as HDOS, we feel like it is now the right time to make some changes. As such, going forward, the only clients permitted for use outside of the official ones are um, approved on this client list. So RuneLight hdos and h and os buddy but this is the main thing hdos is actually recognized by jagex and is allowed to be used that that is just so amazing i covered this client you know eight nine months ago when they actually first released it to the public but people were worried that you know you're gonna get banned for using it or jagex wasn't gonna approve of it or you know they were gonna hack you and stuff like that but no it has been recognized by jagex and has now finally been approved okay so we are actually in game right now this is old school runescape this is actually the iron man account that I have, you know, been making progression videos about and pretty much all my videos are on this Iron Man account right here. Just take a look at these graphics, man. They're absolutely crazy. I'm just going to go grab my uh, construction cape really quickly and then, uh, you know, go teleporting and stuff like that throughout the game. I also want to take a look at what the Slayer cape looks like. I completely forgot about how, oh my god, it just looks so good man so we're gonna go ahead and teleport to my house show you guys like look at the old teleport animation it's just absolutely crazy dude like there's so much good stuff about this client and there's so many you know things you know there's obviously stuff that they need to work on but now the fact that this client has actually been approved it is crazy so let's just take a look at the graphic settings really quickly um all settings i think this is the regular runescape setting so i'm pretty sure you have to go up here maybe um settings we have window mode uh we have hide username which is cool for streamers and stuff like that um i know there's a way you can get plugins now just give me a few seconds okay it looks like it also gives you the nice option to play in the fixed mode here um i need to figure out how to get these um plugins and stuff like that as well i also put the viewing distance all the way up um just oof, there's so many stuff i need to learn all right, so it looks like you just go into the regular plugins menu right here, and then you can go enable plugins, and you're going to get this little sidebar. One other really cool thing is a lot of the items have kind of like changed on like kind of what they look like. Like look at the grimy herbs. They look like they did back in the day as well. And they also like modeled graceful to look slightly different than it does. I know. I mean a little bit different, but it just looks uh, a lot better in my opinion. Everything just looks better in this client, man. Oh yeah, and it looks like they remodeled like the Max Cape to have like a comp cape look to it, which is freaking crazy looking. Maybe and they'll change that if they actually do add a comp cape one day. Alright, so here's all a list of some of the plugins that we have so far. So there's anti-drag, there's the agility, which will highlight the agility obstacles. Um, let's see, the boost information, that's obviously something that you're going to want. Um, camera, so that will allow you to use the ASD camera. There's the clue scroll helper, so that was a problem with people wanting to use this client because Runelight's clue scroll helper is so good. Door kicker, I don't know why they added that. Um, entity hider, that'll probably just hide. Configure this, well, I don't know what that does. Um, green, oh, they added green screen too, which is a very important one for making thumbnails for content creators. Ground items, obviously, is a good one. There's a loot tracker, um, menu entry swamper as well. Um, no way they added quest helper into this already. We have, you know, there's a cool little bit of plugins, not nothing like Runelight, obviously, 
But uh, if we have the ground items one on now, it'll say shark there at the bottom. And then this right here, that'll be like the loot tracker kind of thing. If we kill something, the loot will pop up there. Very interesting. Um, I'm going to go through a lot of the cities and just check out what they kind of look like. There are st still like bugs and stuff like that, right? Like nothing looks perfect yet like this for example like this uh thing in my house this crafting cape here doesn't have the logo i don't know what what that is all about but i'm sure that'll get fixed obviously so let's just go to a couple cities we'll go to like lumbridge Verrock, maybe falador and then i'm gonna do a couple kills at hydra and just see how bossing kind of looks oh even these look so much better like they did back in the day we'll just go to lumbridge to start this off right here and you have obviously the lumbridge castle look how freaking far you can see man it's actually crazy um we'll just walk up here a little bit yep it looks like all the plugins seem to be working i'm gonna kill something quickly i'll you know kill this man and see if the loot tracker kind of plugin thing comes up oh look at this smooth animations here and let's see if we kill this guy yep as you can see this works now is it the same as runelight where you can like delete it reset okay cool it works fairly well and i like how it kind of closes like that you can have it and it will push your, you know, this bar here, sort of, so you can have it open cont continuously. Oh, and it looks like you can do that as well. So I'm gonna have to go back here maybe now and turn the that back on. Oh, there's a little gray arrow here. So you can fully hide it if you want, or if you want this to be open. That is so cool. All right, next I'm gonna go to Verrock and we're gonna go to the Grand Exchange because there's gonna be a ton of people there. And people were telling me that this client is so smooth that there will not even be lag. You know how there's sometimes a little bit of lag on like the regular old school RuneScape? Um, there apparently is like, if you have a decent enough PC, there's no lag. Oh my God, man. How nostalgic is that? Look at the old elk animation. Holy shit, that's so cool. There is a little bit of lag actually, but it seems to be fairly smooth. Entering the Grand Exchange. And this might be because it's like the first time I've had this client open in probably 9 to 10 months. So that could be the reason to some comp capers over here. Oh, wow, dude. This just looks freaking incredible. And it's it's crystal smooth. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but it is crystal freaking smooth. The elking animation just gets me. I just remember seeing that so much back in the day. It just looks so cool where you you know used to hit the staff off the ground it's just ah oh, so cool so nostalgic here yeah damn i'm liking it all right let's check out uh i guess falador maybe and then i don't know what else like any cool cities we could check out before i go go to a couple kills at hydra and see how like bossing kind of like works in this um falador is there any other like cooler cities i could go to um falador falador that will look pretty cool too just because it has all the buildings and look you can see the balloon even in the distance here it's freaking crazy i think this is what the regular graceful looks like or something like that i don't i don't know it looks pretty cool maybe that's the black graceful don't know the magic tree kind of looks a little messed up there but is that isn't that what they actually looked like yeah it's totally what they looked like back in the day wow it's just it's so buttery smooth man and it just looks so much better it kind of just like reminds me of playing runescape back in the day like all these textures and stuff are just so nostalgic and uh oh one thing i really wanted to check out too while we are somewhat close to a bank is i know back in the day the gnome scarf and like certain items like the gnome scarf you know like even like rune armor i'll show you what i mean they had this like certain texture to it that was just so cool i'm gonna go ahead and take out some armor here i'm gonna have to get used to like how the bank looks even like dragon boots for example like did they do they have that they do they have that like cool texture that they used to have i don't really know how to explain it fairly maybe you can see it but yeah you can see it really good on this plate armor right here it just has like a cool little texture pattern to it which is so just nostalgic for me and i want to see if the gnome scarf uh has that as well because that just what is this oh my god the arty cloak explorers ring are all like models are changed yes yeah, see the gnome scarf has just texture to it and it just looks oh, it looks incredible and then we have the arty cloak this is the arty cloak 4 right it's usually purple but it's black like at how it used to be in uh 3 eoc and I'm sure people want to know what the fire cape looks like as well. Because that used to have like the... I guess it kind of looks similar on old school. But does it have the nice like... Yeah, it looks exactly how it used to back in the day, man. Yeesh. One thing I know a lot of people like is the moving whip. Like look at this. If I equip the whip, you're going to have that nice little moving animation. Jeez, I just... Oh, I can't get over how much I love this. 
some of the newer items I find that were released with old school are slightly buggy, but the old items seem to be just freaking phenomenal, man. And I know there's a lot that they need to def definitely work on with this client, but let's go kill some Hydra and see how this just looks. All right, bro, let's go do some Hydra. This is going to be so exciting. And just the fact that I know this client is 100% safe, you know, Jagex has approved of it. Um, and just that just makes it so much more enjoyable to play. You know, when I played it a few months ago, like uh, nine, almost a year ago at this point, when it first kind of like came out, I was just always like... <sighs> You know, you can't fully trust something like this. And I would log on to it with my alt account, not my main account, because I was like very nervous about, you know, getting hacked or just, you know, getting banned and stuff like that. But now that Jagex has allowed this, which to be honest, they should, it is the thing about old school RuneScape is kind of like it's like how you want to play the game, right? You know, if you want to play with the RuneLight HD, if you want to play with the HDOS, like this doesn't change efficiency you know it actually makes efficiency worse if you really actually think about it because you don't have all the amazing rune light plugins it just it, all it does is make the graphics better and make them how they used to look so there was no reason why they shouldn't have allowed this in the first place one thing that i really wish that would be really cool is for example if they you know added this somehow as a plugin into rune light so that you could have all the other rune light plugins i'm not sure if they could do that that'd be too much probably but it would be really cool or if jagex themselves just added an hd option in the game then they wouldn't even have to make it a rune light plugin you could play the old school version you could play the hd version then it would just be so much better but i can't complain about this all right let's go to kill some hydra um i'm might be a little weird because i'm so used to having like everything set up and stuff like that for me but uh let's go kill some hydra man this is so crazy to do this in hd oh my god gotta keep an eye on these prayers it just uh, it definitely looks just so much better so much cleaner and oh my god it's weird playing like this because I'm so used to it being like smaller. I, I usually play fixed in full screen, which you can't really do. I'm sure maybe there's a way to do it with this, but uh, oh yeah, and I'm not used to this not being blue either. Like, you know, when you have a prayer on that that's blue, it just looks weird being white all the time, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. And I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to be using this client. Maybe like if I feel like playing in HD or something like that, I will, but I don't know, until they add more plugins, make it a little less buggy, I probably will still use the traditional rune light for now, but I am very impressed and I'm just super happy that this is actually like allowed now by Jagex. It just, it makes it just so much more enjoyable, man, to know that this is allowed by Jagex. And if you guys want to try this out, man, I'm going to leave the link to the, um, the actual website in the description because, uh, they're... I'm sure there's going to be like a bunch of people trying to make like a fake version of this that would hack you and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, you can go to their Discord and download it um, and stuff like that as well. Maybe I'll just leave the Discord down in the description, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's kill. Go on with the Hydra kill. We're not doing well at all because I'm not used to not having plugins. Pretty crazy, but it definitely just like overall looks so much better, man. It literally just takes me back to when I was, you know, nine, ten years old playing this game. Maybe not Hydra, but just the graphics and stuff in general. It's just absolutely nuts. Let's see if we can do the flame skip in HD without these little floor markers and stuff like that. Okay, we gotta run up here. And we gotta click this one. And we did it properly. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, this looks so good. I'm just so over the moon happy with this, man. And it's so buttery smooth. Like, I I'm, I don't know if you guys can pick it up from the video, but it is buttery smooth. Like, even more smooth than RuneLight. I'm serious when I say that. And RuneLight's fairly smooth with all the plugins that it has on it and stuff like that. But, damn. And watch us get the claw on this kill. That'd be really fucking funny. The next clip's just in HD in the progress series, and it's just like, yeah, I got the claw. It looks like I'm on like a private server, <laughs> for those who don't know what this is. But, uh, let's go. Almost killed the Hydra. I can't believe how buttery smooth this is. You can just see everything. <laughs> and look at the death animation, too, man. Let's go. Oh, it has like a little b blue light. Is there anything good there? Not really. <laughs> I mean... Decent value, I guess, but... God damn. 
Well, anyways, yeah, guys, this client is allowed by Jagex. It is officially on their website now. They have approved it. It is all good to go. You guys can play this without having to worry about your account or, you know, worrying about getting banned or something like that. It is all good, all approved by Jagex. And uh, yeah, if you want, go check it out. It is a lot of fun. Definitely enhances the game. That makes it kind of feel like you're not playing old school RuneScape anymore. Maybe you're playing 2008, 2009 Scape, but it is a lot of fun so buttery smooth like i said i'm not sure how much i'm gonna be using it all the time or not but it's definitely for today anyways i'm gonna be using it all day long just getting the most out of it and stuff like that and uh yeah hopefully you know they may they make more improvements to it and just make it you know a little more friendly i guess it, it's friendly but like they add more plugins you know they have the little bugs in here and there that they fix and I'm not sure about the comp cape and stuff like that. Like, I kind of feel like they should just keep all of the items exactly the same. Like, change the models, however, but just make the items the same. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I would, I'd would, like to have a comp cape in old school one day. So, you know, it might be different and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, definitely go ahead and check out this client. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. And uh, if you like the video, make sure to smash the like button. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya later.